So today I would like to talk um, about the challenges and advantages in carrying uh, museums in tangible cultural heritage safeguarding projects uh, based on the three examples from uh, um, my museum, the Vietnam Museum of Ethnology. Um, uh, so, um, uh, my museum is quite an uh, innovative museum in Vietnam and um, we have a permanent exhibition uh, where we display uh, the cultures and the people of uh, five, 54 ethnic uh, minorities, uh, ethnic people in Vietnam. And besides that, we also have a space for a special exhibition. Um, um, and this space uh, is used for uh, uh, many programs uh, that my museum cooperate with the communities. Um, and working with the community, uh, finding the, um, proper, uh, the appropriate way uh, to cooperate with the community is also a new uh, way of uh, working at my museum. Um, so uh, here I, the three examples here include the one uh, exhibition and the two video um, making based on uh, the cooperation with the communities. Uh, first, uh, I talk about the exhibition a Voice Through Photos of People from Hanoi Asian Quarter. Uh, and uh, this exhibition is a result of a pilot project uh, with the title Sustainable Development of Hanoi Asian Quarter. And it is under the master plan study on the comprehensive urban development program in Hanoi. And this program uh, is based on the cooperation between the Hanoi Authority and uh, the 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 the, uh, the Jika, Jika. And uh, its uh, purpose is to uh, establish a general vision into uh, Hanoi Asian Quarter's future and feasible preservation and development mechanisms. And it also uh, aim to identify goals and strategies for sustainable development with traditional values that need to be preserved for the futures. Uh, so here you can see this is a um, location, uh, the area that uh, was selected uh, for um, uh, the program. Uh, actually in this um, big program there are many components and um, the exhibition is only one component in this uh, program uh, because uh, besides the exhibition, there are also other groups from other institutions uh, who work on the research um, about um, many aspects of the Asian Quarter in Hanoi. Uh, and um, for only for the exhibition, uh, our museum staff choose um, 20 participants uh, who are five, uh, five female and 15 males, um, and they belong to the Hang, Hang Buom ward, because Hang Buom here you can see uh, is the main street uh, that we select uh, for the uh, exhibition. And uh, this area uh, here uh, is also this area. And um, uh, it seems like a square and mid by four street, Hang Buom Street, Hang Zay Street, Lương Ngọc Quyến, and Tạ Hiện Street. Uh, and the participants, they, they, um, they um, include uh, both genders, and uh, the eldest is 75 years old, and the youngest 20 years old. Uh, and their occupation, uh, occupation uh, varied from pen pensioners, uh, soldier, traders, government officials, sales people, and students. Uh, and some of them uh, originate from Hanoi and other people. Uh, they move here from uh, other provinces in Vietnam. Uh, so in order to uh, uh, organize the exhibition, we uh, have to uh, uh, use some methods. Um, we need to, um, to take the reference from the, uh, um, from the um, uh, bi bibliography. Uh, we, uh, the researcher have to read many um, uh, papers and articles uh, written about uh, the uh, Hano Asian uh, quarters um, in the newspaper, in legal document, and also in the internet. 
Um, we also uh, apply the method of anthropology, like uh, in-depth interviews uh, and um, um, participatory uh, part, uh, observations. Uh, and especially we um, apply photo voice as a tool uh, to collect uh, the information from uh, the participants. And of course, when uh, uh, the participant participate in the in the project. Uh, they uh, each of them um, were uh, deliver a camera, and they uh, were trained how to use the camera, how to uh, catch an uh, image by the camera. And um, there's also um, uh, some big um, meetings uh, between the participants and the researcher team. Uh, to talk about um, what is um, intangible cultural heritage uh, in the Asian quarter. And uh, actually in uh, the understanding of the participant, uh, now uh, they, 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 they don't think of uh, uh, intangible cultural heritage in a uh, broad uh, meaning. Uh, so they just think that it is uh, only like uh, um, uh, some festival, uh, some like uh, handicraft, uh, and um, this is also the, 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 the time for researchers uh, who have the participant um, widen the, the understanding about uh, intangible cultural heritage and have them to, um, uh, to, um, like to bring about some themes uh, that they should focus on when they uh, take the photos. Uh, so after three months, uh, uh, there are nearly 6,000 photos uh, that were taken by the participants. Um, and there are meetings between, among the participants and uh, researchers uh, to discuss, uh, to choose the, the photos and also to discuss uh, about the themes uh, arise, arisen from uh, the photos. Um, and uh, here is the nine themes uh, that they, um, they saw it um, emerge from the photos. It's about uh, commercial and cultural space. Um, and people said, say about the unique bustling atmosphere of uh, the Asian quarter and the continuity of trade specialization in some streets, uh, the trade secrets and the way sellers miss customers' need, trust among traders and trust uh, to lose uh, customers. Um, about the diversity and uh, connoisseurship in food way and clothing. Uh, they talk about the, uh, the technique to prepare food, um, uh, the habit of um, eating. Um, uh, if you come to the Asian Quarter in Hanoi, you can see um, many del delicious dishes uh, will deliver, uh, will serve on the pavement and on the street corner. And um, not only the people, the, the inhabitants of the Asian Quarter, uh, but also the people in other area in Hanoi, they really like to, to come to the Asian Quarter and to enjoy that atmosphere and enjoy the way of eating like that. And they say that many food in um, sold in the pavement, on the pavement of the Asian Quarter is much better than in a luxury uh, hotel or restaurant. And about the knowledge of natural environment, um, they talk about the responsibility to protect the landscape, the realization of the importance of the trees and of the green space in, um, in the quarter. Um, in terms of the knowledge of cultural and folk arts, uh, uh, they talk about love to traditional dance, uh, singings, uh, festivals, uh, recognition of architecture, beauties of houses in the Asian quarters, and the need to recover the performing arts and the re-establish of traditional festival. And uh, also uh, about the knowledge of uh, social behavior and management. Um, they talk about uh, the way how they manage the life uh, in a very narrow space and how people share public space uh, for the daily life uh, and also for the trade uh, activities. Um, they also talk about the awareness, awareness of origin because not uh, everyone uh, is uh, the Hanoians, the original, originary. So um, uh, 
uh, the people who come in from other um, locations in, in Vietnam, uh, they uh, still keep the strong attachment with their original hometowns. Um, and also within each family, uh, they also uh, to, uh, maintain the, the, the order and the discipline of each family. Um, uh, there's also a themes about lifestyle and moral standard. <laughs> they talk about uh, the Tate uh, tra tradition, the uh, New Year's tradition, uh, the street uh, trading, and uh, some hobbies of the uh, inhabitants of, of Hano Asian Squatter. Um, and in terms of religious belief, um, uh, they talk about the medium rituals, uh, spiritual need uh, of all, almost uh, all traders who join in to seek for wealth and prosperity in business and the maintenance of traditional beliefs to seek for wealth and fortune. Uh, so not only at the times of uh, the project, but nowadays in, 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 in Vietnam, um, the medium rituals seems very popular. And especially for people who work as a trader, they really uh, believe in, in this kind of ritual because they, they believe that it brings them many uh, fortune and they can get many money if they uh, really have a, uh, a deep belief in, in this uh, practice. And um, they also talk about the people who keep uh, intangible cultural heritage um, because they also make a list of the people who, um, who are the ownership of some handicraft uh, in the Hano Asian quarter. Um, uh, actually, um, uh, at the very first point of the project, um, they, they don't realize that the, the people who, the ownership of the artisan is also uh, an aspect of the intangible cultural heritage. But uh, after um, working with the researcher team, they uh, also realize that this is also uh, a heritage that they, they, they should like, maintain or develop uh, for the next uh, generations. Um, so photo voice um, uh, is a method that uh, have the people to talk about uh, the issue within that communities, and it's also uh, uh, can be considered as a tool to approach with the policy makers. So in this project, because it is uh, in the exhibition is a part of the larger um, plan, larger uh, program, and um, it is uh, attacked uh, strongly with the plan of the Hanoi Authority. So um, uh, the, the exhibition, uh, exhibition, the stories, the photos becomes uh, an uh, evidence for the policymaker to uh, make a plan to um, uh, develop and to uh, uh, conserve the uh, Hano Asian squatter. Uh, and um, I will talk about some of the solution later in, in the presentation. Uh, now we move to um, uh, the second project. We, uh, and in this project, I talked about uh, two um, videos. Uh, the project name is Community Visual Education and Communications a Collaborative Visions. Uh, and uh, it is uh, funded by the uh, Ford Foundation and uh, it was done based on the cooperation between uh, my museum and uh, the Bama Mountain Cultural Research Institute in Junan province of China. Um, and uh, there are some goals of the project. Uh, it aims to build the individual and institutional capacity in collaborative visual media methodology, methodologies and visual documentary skills. Uh, and it also pioneer community-based video methods to empower communities' voice, uh, advocate trainings for participants, including indigenous peoples about cultural and biodiversity awareness as well as cultural preservation, and it also wants to build a platform of exchange to share ideas and research between the Chinese and Vietnamese uh, partners. 
So in the uh, in the project, uh, we also uh, apply some methods, uh, some methods uh, like we use group discussion, uh, in-depth interview, oral history. So the oral history will have the people to to link the story together, and they uh, also help the researcher to understand about um, the the uh, the history of uh, uh, of the communities. Um, uh, the group discussion will uh, ha give the opportunity for the participant to um, express their ideas uh, and to contribute the opinion uh, to the, uh, the the process and also the final product of the project. Um, and besides that, uh, the in-depth interview uh, uh, is a tool that uh, help the researchers uh, know about the personal, uh, individual. Um, uh, opinions of each participant because sometimes in the group discussion there are some people uh, who, who are silent uh, and they are like they feel shy to speak in front of uh, a big group so uh, the in-depth interviews uh, is a chance for them to uh, to share uh, what they uh, what they want to talk uh, and to, to share the things that they uh, they're not there to talk in the group meeting um, and also, uh, this is um, a project that we uh, we um, use uh, camera uh, as a tool to collect the uh, information. And uh, the final product that we expect to uh, have is the community-based uh, videos. Um, uh, and the process that we um, uh, set up to um, work with the communities uh, in this project is that um, we uh, we have to imagine the seed ideas uh, before going to uh, to meet the communities. And when we meet the communities, after we build up a trust and a good relationship with the community, we um, share with them uh, our ideas, uh, and they also have a chance to uh, comment, to feedback about the, uh, that I that seed ideas, and they also can uh, give us uh, their ideas uh, about uh, what they want to, to, to put in the films. And um, uh, this is a process that we discover the seed idea together um, among the community and the research team. Um, and after that, we, we collect the information by um, filming. Um, and then we, after that, we set up layout, and we have to bring back the draft films uh, to the community to get feedbacks, uh, and uh, the final um, pro of the final step is to revise and finalize uh, the films. Um, so in this pro project, we have two teams from Vietnam and five teams from China, from Yunnan. Um, and each team, uh, there are two core uh, participants. One uh, is the researchers, and the other is the indigenous participants. Uh, so they have to cooperate with each other uh, to work on the seed idea first, and then go back to the uh, community. And also the um, uh, local participant uh, also have the researcher to, um, to choose uh, a group of community within the, the, the village or within the communities. Uh, and uh, we usually choose like from 10 to 12 participants uh, because that number is um, uh, like um, appropriate number to, to work with in the, in the group uh, meeting and within the frame of uh, like finance and, and time that we have. Um, so now I move to the theme, we the Thai people. Um, uh, the, part, uh, the, the subject of this, uh, of this group uh, is that they, they work with a, a group of Thai people, uh, a, minority, a minority group, um, and, and they moved to uh, live in Hanoi uh, since the 19, uh, 1970s uh, because of many reasons for maybe they come there to work and they or they come there to uh, to to study, uh, and when they and and uh, along the time they get married and then they settle in in Hanoi, um, um, and um, this uh, community group they have a quite close uh, blood relationship with each other, uh, and uh, the age ranging from like forty years. Uh, 
uh, of the youngest and to the 75 years of the eldest. Uh, and uh, they also do many uh, different kinds of jobs, like uh, they are uh, scientists, uh, architects, uh, governmental administrators, students, uh, artists, uh, retired people, and also uh, house workers. Uh, and so the diversity of the group uh, will give the research team, uh, um, will have the research team not to have an, a biased view uh, on the issue that they, they, they work uh, together. So, um, during the process of, of, of the project, uh, uh, they always have a three big step. Um, the first step is to discuss, discuss about the seed ideas. Uh, and after that, we have to collect information, we have to f uh, collect the footage. And the, the second big step is to show two hour footage to get feedback from the community, from the group of community. Uh, uh, usually, um, each team, they, they, they film about like uh, from 15 to 20 tapes. And it, it's also equivalent to like 15 to 20 hours. And it is impossible to show all the footage on the draw footage to the communities. So that's why uh, they need the second step who, uh, where the, uh, the core team uh, have to work together and cut down and choose the, uh, the footage based on the theme that they organize uh, by themselves. And then they bring back the footage to the community to get feedback. Um, and after getting the feedback from the community, they will have to, uh, to, 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 to take uh, additional footage if uh, there is something missing. Uh, and if the um, group community want to uh, put more image or put more people or to would like to talk about other story uh, in in the film so um, after the second uh, state uh, they have to um, uh, reorganize uh, the footage uh, and to make a draft videos and after having the draft video of about like 30 to uh, 45 minutes or one hour, they again bring back to the community and uh, collect the uh, feedback of the community to, uh, to so on the base of, of those feedback, they can have the uh, final uh, product of the project. Uh, and so in terms of uh, the theme with the Thai people, uh, there are nine themes uh, that they uh, talk in the films. Uh, it's the um, different reasons uh, of Thai people when they moved to Hanoi since uh, 1945. And uh, um, they also talk about the different ways to integrate into uh, King's community's life way in Hanoi. Because uh, as you know, King is the um, majority in Vietnam. Um, uh, and so when they move into the, uh, the capital, they have to integrate into uh, the life of uh, the majority here. Uh, and there's also uh, difficulties to face uh, during the integration into Hanoi's life. Um, there are the in, in affirmation of some Thai people, uh, the preservation of Thai identity, uh, the conflicts in intermarriage families, um, differences and adap adaptation. Uh, because there are couple that uh, one uh, like husband or wife uh, is Thai and husband or wife is king. So uh, in this family, they um, usually uh, have a difference in cultures and they have to find a way to uh, negotiate with each other to have a, like, um, a normal life. And uh, here in, uh, among the themes, there's also a theme about the concern about the loss of uh, language in the third generation of Thai people. Um, they also talk about the expansion of Thai community because uh, um, now they not only live in the mountainous area of Vietnam, uh, they also live in uh, um, many other big cities in Vietnam and also live abroad. Uh, so this is also the theme that they want to talk about. Um, uh, and uh, also importantly, they talk about the strong attachment to the homeland um, because uh, they usually go back to the homeland to like 
attend many special occasions uh, and to uh, enjoy the festival or the traditional um, New Year's uh, festival. So um, this is also one of the very important activities that they usually uh, do.